Hello and welcome to the cool HUD reboot thing tutorial. Yeah. First of all, place a go to entity triggers proximity trigger. Set the parameters as as needed. Okay, now go down to flow graph, create, HUD reboot, now right click, add selected entity, and fit the graph view. <coughs> now add a time delay, hit control C, and paste three more. Okay. Now right click, add node, uh, input action filter. We need two of those. We need a uh, HUD interference effect. We need image alien interference. Go to image, color correction, um, a HUD overlay message. I have this all written down here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm reading from it. And uh, that's all we'll place for right now. Alien interference, set it to 2. Distortion, set it to 50. Um, action filter, n uh, no mouse, and the other one, no move, color correction, set the brightness to minus 100, and then the rest to zero. And the overlay message, type the message, nano suit disabled or whatever you want to put in there um, okay now type uh, go ahead in your proximity trigger put the enter into both the alien interference and the interference effect now the enter into all three time delays And uh, out of the del delays, oh, we don't need three of them. We can just use one and put them out and, yeah. Now uh, put it into the enable of both the action filters and the color correction and the enable. Um... Okay, now uh, the enter into the this delay and the out into overlay message. We'll go ahead and get another delay. Alright. And we'll set that delay to 2. Uh, we'll get a sound, play sound, and a game local player set this up like this put the local player into the ID or the entity whatever and the out of the delay into the play of this click on sound name and then click on the little folder go to sounds interface HUD uh, crynet in And they uh, then go to HUD, HUD data upload. Out of that, out of the delay into the data upload, activate. 
um, a HUD uh, overlay message. We're going to type in here data uploading. the delay into the show. Um, and another overlay message. Uh, data uploaded. We'll get another delay set it to oh and with this overlay message we'll set the timeout to 2 for both of them oh and the nano and the other one uh, delay of 2 seconds we'll see how that works and then put it in the show of this one and the hide of the other one out of this delay the deactivate of the data upload uh, now we'll do sound play sound and another game local player put that put the local player in there and the out of the delay into the play get a sound uh, interface HUD crynet out Um, go to HUD, uh, HUD control, and get another delay, set it for two, go and uh, put it in the boot sequence, right there. And uh, another overlay message, so HUD overlay message. We'll s have this one say connecting. And again, out into the show. Move these over a little bit. Um. Another delay, we'll set this one for three. And the out of this delay into the delay right here. Add a image uh, color correction, leave it as it is. Output of this delay into there. And uh, another overlay message. Connection established, and the out of that into the show. Now we will bring that delay up here and put it into the disable of the action filters. Okay, and that should be it. We'll see how how it works. I'll save. Okay, it works, but I forgot to do one more thing. Go ahead and copy the alien interference and interference effect set everything to uh, zero on them and uh, out
out of this delay uh, do enable and trigger which will stop all of the uh, interference and distortion and whatnot test it out again there you have it. A nice cool little HUD sequence right there. And of course you can tweak this how you like. You know, add some different colors or whatever. Uh, Alright, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful.